Welcome back users. In one of our earlier videos, we had debuted the Spiral Linux Linux distro on our uh, channel and we had checked out the GNOME desktop of Spiral Linux. Now, if we go to the Spiral Linux website, there are multiple desktops that we can download. So there is a specific ISO for each of the desktops like Cinnamon, XFC, GNOME, Plasma, Mate, Budgie and LSQT. And there is one specific ISO called Builder. So this is for the advanced user. So you can install the Builder ISO and later on use this installation to install any of your favorite desktops. So you can install all the desktops that are available here using this Spiral Linux Builder ISO. So let us check out how we can do it. So I already downloaded this Builder ISO. So first we'll have to install this ISO. So it will install the ICE Windows Manager, ICE WM or the ICE Window Manager. And after the installation is complete, we have to reboot. And once we are booted into the ICE WM, we can install the different uh, desktops as you wish. So let us start. So use the Debian testing or you can use Debian 10 also. 10 will be better. Customize. So now we have to create the virtual machine. You can check out this live. Let us check out what the utilities have to offer. So there is a hardware detection tool and a memory diagnostic tool. And you can go back to the main menu. In the main menu, let us now select the live session. So it will, uh, we will boot into a live ISWM session. Okay, so now we are booted into the live session. Now here in the application menu, you have to search, go to the system, search for this install Spiral Linux. So it will start the installer. So you got the Calamar uh, user friendly installer. So this is very user friendly compared to the Debian installer, which was used till the Buster edition. Now select the local, local is not properly selected. Sometimes it gets selected. Sometimes uh, you will have to reselect the correct local. Go ahead. Now uh, for me, I have to select the Indian keyboard model and go with the in English India with rupee. I will use the erase this option or you can go with the manual partitioning also and keep the bootloader location on the MBR. For the, we will use uh, no swap, there will be no swap. So system uh, might use uh, a swap file inside the root folder if required and the uh, file system will be butterfs by default, but you can also select the extended four if you want, or you can go with the X XFS or the file to file system. So let us uh, go with the butterfs. Input your uh, name, then your password. Calamers will, uh, yes, Calamers will uh, install the user as a part of the sudo's list. So there won't be any separate uh, root account. The root account will be disabled and the user created will be put into the admin uh, users group so he can make the necessary changes in the system whenever required now you have to check and confirm the summary of the installation that will that will be going to be done to your system so it is all okay you have to select install and now wait for the installation once the installation is complete I will stop the video and in the next video we will uh, do the actual installation of any of the desktops that are given on the Spiral Linux download page. 
so we can install any of them already we have seen the genome we will try to install and uh, check out the desktop that is installed in the third video so this is the first video there will be a second video where we'll do the actual installation of the desktop and in the third video we will do the review of the desktop that has been installed so this way you will get a good idea of the expert install method of the spiral linux and how to use the uh, spiral linux builder iso so this builder iso is only for the expert users who know the system who knows uh, the different package dependencies who know what they are doing So we have done with the installation of uh, the builder ISO. So it will install the HWM uh, Windows Manager and the base uh, parallel Linux system. And we ha have to build on this base system with the HWM Windows Manager and install any of the desktop of, of our choice using either you can use the terminal or you can use the synaptic package manager. So in the next video, I will show you how to use the Synaptic Package Manager to choose the desktop of your choice and then install it. 
so i will stop the video here see you in the next video bye bye